Hi guys, this is Sadek from Joadbun.com and in this video, we'll show you how to fix the signature verification field error message when you are trying to sideload the magic zip file to obtain a root. So as you might be aware, the easiest way of routing any custom ROM is to simply sideload the magic zip file via the ADB sideload feature of that custom ROM's inbuilt recovery. In other words, the, that AOSP recovery. However, when you are flashing a magic zip file using ADB sideload, you might get a signature verification field message. This is normal because the magic file is not a part of that custom ROM. So you will get a prompt and along with that prompt, you will get an option to install that zip file or not. So you could simply select install anyway and that custom recovery will then flash the magic zip file and you will obtain root. For example, if you talk about the Lineage OS 20 ROM, so as you could see, my phone is currently in the Lineage OS 20 recovery and I've executed the command adb sideload magic.zip and upon executing that command, I will now get a prompt on my phone. Signature verification field install anyway, yes or no. If you select yes, then the magic will be sideloaded and you will obtain root. However, not every custom recovery gives us this option. In some custom ROM which have their own custom recovery, they simply show a signature verification field and after that they will abort the process. They will not allow you to select yes or no. So in the, in those cases, you will not be able to sideload the magic zip file. One such ROM is the Nusantara ROM, it's quite a common and popular ROM in the Xiaomi domain. So let me show you for the sake of reference what happened with this ROM. So if I currently boot my phone to the inbuilt recovery of this ROM, which is the Nusantara recovery. So let me show you. Do keep in mind that I am only talking about the AOSP recovery, which are the built-in recovery of those custom ROM itself. So let me show you. Currently my phone is booting to the custom recovery. So it will only take a few seconds. And once that is done, let's now try and sideload the magic zip file. For that, I'll be going to the, let me show you, apply update section and then apply from ADB. With this, my phone is now in the ADB sideload mode. And if I go to the platform tools folder, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. I am now inside the platform tools folder as you could see. So now let me type in ADB devices and hit enter. So with this, I'm in the sideload mode as you could verify from here. And I have also placed the magic zip file inside the platform tools folder. So if I now try to sideload the magic zip file, let me do so. adb sideload file name file magic.zip and hit enter. So as you could see, our phone has not given us any option. It has just shown a signature verification failed. Install recovery error, error 21. So as opposed to the lineage OS recovery, which I have shown you, it has given us an option to install the verification failed. Install anyway. In this recovery, there is no such option. I come across a few other custom ROM that shows the same behavior. In other words, those custom ROM also does not give you any option to install the zip file anyway. So in such cases, you will not be able to sideload the magic and root your phone. So with those ROMs, you will have to take a slightly lengthier approach to root the ROM. So let me show you how you could fix this issue and proceed ahead to root your ROM. So first of all, let me boot my phone to the OS. So while my phone is booting to the OS, let's now get started with the steps. So first and foremost, you have to install the Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute the ADB command. So download it from the link given in my guide and extract it onto your PC. In my case, I've done the extraction in eDrive. You could extract it anywhere you want. Once that is done, you have to enable USB debugging. This is required to execute the ADB command. So unlock your phone and then go to the settings menu. From there, go to about phone and then type tap on build number seven times. You will get the prompt that you are now a developer. So now go to system, go to developer option and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone, tap on OK. You might get an RSA key fingerprint prompt as well, tap on allow. So with this, the debugging is now enabled. Let's now verify the same. So open CMD window inside the platform tools folder. So let me show you that as well. So type in CMD in the address bar of platform tools folder and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window. So let's now verify the connection. So type in ADB devices. And make sure you are getting a serial ID. Once you are getting this ID, you have now established the debugging connection. So let's now move over to the next step. Next step, you now have to extract the boot IMG file from the custom ROM. So let me show you for the sake of reference, I'm using the Nusantara ROM. You could use any ROM of your choice. So by default, the ROM is usually in a zip format. So this is Nusantara ROM zip file. So make sure to extract the ROM. And once you do the extraction, you will get all these files. Out of this, we only need the payload.bin file. Make sure your custom ROM has the payload.bin file near about all the custom ROM nowadays comes with this file. So we'll now be using this payload.bin file. But before that, you have to 
download the fastboot enhanced tool so you could refer to my guide and download this tool simply download the tool and extract it anywhere on your pc in my case i've done the extraction in d drive you could extract the tool anywhere you want once you have done the extraction you now have to copy the payload.bin file from the extracted custom rom and simply paste this bin file inside the fastboot enhanced folder over here as you could see so just to repeat download and extract the fastboot enhanced tool on your pc then download the custom rom of your choice and then copy the payload.bin file from here and now paste this bin file inside the fastboot enhanced folder you will now have to extract the boot img file from this payload.bin file so for that we will be using the fastboot enhanced tool so simply launch the fastboot enhanced tool and upon wait for a few seconds and now go to the payload dumper tab and click on browse you will now have to select the payload.bin file of the custom rom so select the payload.bin file and click on open and it will now load the bin file and show you the information now go to the partition tab and select the boot.img you only need the boot file and, and nothing else so select it and click on extract image now let's choose the destination so let's select desktop only so click on desktop and hit ok and it will now extract the file and will only take a few seconds so let's wait for the extraction to complete and upon the extraction is done it will notify you of the same via the operation complete pop-up so let me show you that as well the extraction usually takes around 10 to 15 seconds as, as you could see it's now extracted the boot file so let me now access the file so as you could see the file is now in the desktop which we have told beforehand so let's now copy this boot img file and you have to place this file onto your phone so open the file manager app and if your phone is not visible here then it's not an issue simply unlock your phone and upon unlocking your phone expand the notification section expand the android system section then select charging this device by usb and choose file transfer with this your file should not your phone will not be visible on the pc as you could see from here so simply select your phone go to the internal storage and just paste the boot img file over here once that is done you it is also recommended that you do, download the latest magisk apk file and you have to place the magisk file onto your phone as well so let me show you that as well so you could install the magisk app from here i have given the link onto my guide you could refer to my guide and download the magisk apk file the latest is version 26 so you could refer to this table of content section and directly jump over to version 26 to so download the magisk apk file from here and place the apk file onto your phone as well so as of now your phone should have the extracted boot img file of the custom rom and the magisk apk file so regarding the boot.img file make sure to download the same rom which is currently installed onto your phone therefore the boot img file should be of the same version which is currently installed onto your phone so for extracting the boot img file from the payload.bin file make sure to download the same custom rom which is there on your phone you could verify the same by going to the about phone section and then go to the build number so download the same custom rom which is currently installed onto your phone you could verify the same from the build number once you have done the download of this rom which corresponds to this build number extract the payload.bin file using the fastboot enhanced tool and then extract the boot img file using this tool once you have got the boot img file transfer the boot img file of the custom rom onto your phone and likewise transfer the magisk apk file onto your phone as well once you have both these files onto your phone so let's now proceed ahead to install the magisk app and then patch the boot img file using it so for that you could open any file manager app of your choice and within that you have to select the magisk patch file so let me show you just install select the magisk apk file tap on continue and hit install that will now install the magisk apk file so tap on open and tap allow in the notification now tap on install next to magisk and then select and patch a file now you have to select the stock the boot img file from the custom rom which i placed here select it and then tap on let's go magisk will now patch the boot img file and it will only take a few seconds once the patching is done the file will be placed in the download folder onto your phone so let's now access it so okay i have quite a few magisk patch files so make sure to verify the name from the magisk itself so as of now the file which you have patched is ending with eiow so this is the magisk patch file so copy the, the newly magisk patch file and paste it inside the platform folder over here so let's do that as well and i am now pasting make sure to verify the file name from the same magisk app window that's the file name is the same as the one you have pasted here so once you have pasted the magisk patch file over here let's now proceed ahead to so boot our phone to fastboot mode and then we will slash this file using the fastboot mode so for booting your phone to fastboot mode you have to go to the platform Goods folder then type in cmd in the address bar and launch command prompt inside the platform Goods folder as you could see now type in adb reboot 
boot loader and hit enter your phone should not go to the fast boot mode and it will only take a few seconds so let's wait for the time frame and it will subsequently now go to the fast boot mode for the fast boot mode screen might vary depending on the rom and the phone that you have the screen that we are seeing here is for the oppo f4 phone is not a cause of concern the even if your screen is, is different that's not a cause of issue just you have to type in fast boot devices and make sure you are getting a serial id so let me check so if you are not getting any serial id then you will have to install fast boot drivers i have made a guide and a video on the same you could refer to my guide and the video and then install the fast boot drivers once you have done that let's now boot our phone using the magic fast boot img file so for the sake of reference for the sake of convenience let's rename the file to something more meaningful so let's rename it to magis patch magis underscore patch underscore boot so the complete name become magis patch boot dot img so let's now boot our phone using this patch file so type in fast boot boot magis underscore patch underscore boot dot img and hit enter and our phone will now boot using this patch boot img file do keep in mind that you should never directly flash the boot img file Instead, you should always first boot your phone using the patch file, and if everything is working well and good, you could then use the magic direct install to obtain permanent root. But please never directly flash the magic patch IMG file. Anyways, moving on, our phone is now booted to the OS, and as of now, we just have a temporarily one time root. So let's now make the root permanent. So launch the magic app, and it might take a few seconds to load for the first time usage. So let's wait for the time frame. And then tap on install next to Magisk. Now select direct install and tap on let's go. Magisk will now flash the boot IMG file, the patch boot IMG file will flash it. And then we have obtained permanent root. So let's wait for the time frame. And as you could see currently, it's now flashing the boot IMG file. Once done, just tap on reboot. And our phone will now reboot to the OS. And this time we have obtained permanent root. So as I was telling you before, you should always first boot your phone using the Magisk patch boot IMG file. And if everything is working well and good, you could then use the direct install. If you end up flashing the boot IMG file, and if the, there is something wrong with the file, then your phone might end up in a boot loop or a soft break state. On the other hand, if something is wrong with the patch boot IMG file and you're using the boot command, then upon a subsequent reboot, the file will be replaced by the soft boot IMG file and your phone will be up and running. So, using the boot command is the fail safe approach always. With that said, let's now unlock our phone. And I'll let's now launch the magic cap. And with this, we have obtained permanent root. Let me now launch the root checker app as well. You can install the app from Play Store and now type and verify root. You will not get a super user request, just tap on grant. And as you could see, our phone is now rooted via magic. So, guys, if you are getting a signature verification failed message when trying to sideload the magic zip file, that's not an issue. You should simply skip that method and rather opt for this method. In this method, you have to extract the custom rom with, which is currently installed onto your phone so let me show you that as well so simply extract the custom rom which are, is currently installed onto your phone upon extraction you will get all these files you just need to copy the payload.bin file and place the bin file inside the fastboot enhance folder then launch the fastboot enhance tool load the payload.bin file and extract the boot img file this is the boot img file of the custom rom which we have downloaded once you have got this boot img file transfer the boot img file as well as the magic apk file onto your phone once you have transferred both this file onto your phone, you simply have to patch the boot IMG file by Magisk. Once you have done the patching, simply transfer that file, the patch boot IMG file in the platform tools folder and then use the fastboot boot command to boot your phone using the Magisk patch boot IMG file. After that, you have to do a direct install and with that, you will be attained permanent root. So guys, on that note, I round out this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.